Hello, I'm going to show you how to take attendance in your Canvas course uh, as a teacher. So first off, in your course navigation, somewhere along here, you should see the attendance button. And um, you want to leave that enabled for your course navigation so that you can get here. And what that will load is the roll call uh, attendance app that you see right here in Canvas. Um, it starts to a list view. There's also a class view that you'll see here. And then there's the sections. Uh, so you can see the, the different sections for the course. So we're on section one for, for right now. First off, in list view, you can just toggle the attendance. Right now, no one has marked absent or present. So we'll just click once to make present. If someone was absent, you can click twice, and they'll be absent. Or if they were tardy, you can click three times, and they'd be tardy. Um, <clears throat> those are the, the settings that we'd use for uh, for CMS, summer school, camp CMS. One more click on it uh, from tardy goes back to unassigned or un, unmarked. Um, and then you can click on the More button to see those all the options here. We do not recommend adding badges. Uh, that's really not relevant for what we're doing right now. Uh, but that's that's the extent of how you can take attendance in the list view. Um, of course, you can switch to the next section, and you would see the list of the other students for a different section of the course. In class view, you can actually drag and drop students into a seating chart that you want to use. So you can do that any way you like. And then after you edit the seating chart, you can take attendance by clicking there. And then again, it's just number of clicks. Two clicks is absent. One click is present. Three clicks is um, tardy. And then four clicks brings you back to unassigned. So one is present, two is absent, three is tardy. All right. So <clears throat> that's uh, the attendance taking. Now you can always uh, scroll through the different days of the uh, the, the different days and, and see what what attendance looked like for those days um, and it would show the records as we move forward you know they're they're not present so we have to back up um, and then we'll see it when you're ready to if you ever need to you can do a report and actually set a start and end date and get for a specific student or if you want all of them and then enter your email address here and run a report. It will email you a link to download the file, which will open in any spreadsheet so that you can see the attendance records for the date span that you provide. So that's really it for the, uh, the attendance tool. Um, there might be one more thing. Let me let that load one more time. So the uh, roll call settings <clears throat> do not count attendance towards final grade. If you don't want attendance to count for, for Camp CMS, just check that box, and then it will remove it from your final grade uh, requirements. So that gear here, roll call settings, check the box to do not count toward final grade if you don't want attendance to count towards the final grade. Now, why that matters in assignments, you're going to see a roll call attendance assignment. Do not delete it even if you don't want the assignment to count towards final grade. That assignment is necessary for the attendance tool to work as intended. So leave the assignment, just uh, you can mark it so that it doesn't count towards final grade and then it doesn't really affect the students. All right, so hopefully that uh, helps you understand how to use the attendance tool in your Canvas courses for Camp CMS.